Mr. Clark, what do you think the Spies for Peace hope to achieve in publishing these government secrets? Well, first of all, I want to say that the Campaign for Nuclear Disarmament and myself are not in any way associated with the publication. But on the other hand, the, the publication of the so-called secrets is likely to achieve a greater availability of information to the public so that they can decide what is being done for their defence. Uh, do you not think that the government has some obligation to set up an organisation to ensure the survival or well-being of people after a nuclear attack and it's best that some government uh, set up should be introduced rather than leave it entirely to the military? If you can assume that there will be survival, yes, they have this obligation, but they also have a moral obligation to make sure that the population is not involved in crimes against humanity. Why do you think that uh, they've not told the public more about what they're doing? Because I believe there is this dichotomy with nuclear policies, that nuclear policies in fact squash any possibility of democratic rights and democratic discussion. There is in fact no democracy when you have these kind of policies. But might not some secrecy be essential uh, when the whole country is plunged into chaos? Oh, I don't doubt that it is in the nature of governments that they should behave in this way. But it is also in the nature of the way people live, and the way humankind is able to organize, that it should be consulted about its own demise.